what happened to the top gear debacle over the Tesla Roadster? Um, and this is basically where Top Gear uh, um, falsely implied that uh, the Tesla Roadster had run out of uh, energy w when they tested it, which, which it didn't. Um, in fact, because w w the whole vehicle is a detailed computer lock, so we can see it. And, um, and, and then also, we, um, when we dropped the car off, uh, one of our guys happened to see a script sitting on the table. Um, he had already dropped the car off, and so reading through the script, and in the script, the car breaks down. I'm like, wait a second, you wrote the script <laughs> before we even gave you the car. <laughs> um, so there's something wrong, wrong about that. This car then really was shaping up to be something wonderful. But then... Oh. Although Tesla say it'll do 200 miles, we worked out that on our track it would run out after just 55 miles. And if it does run out, it's not a quick job to charge it up again. £92,000 each. £92,000. They are three times more expensive than Elisa's. It's madness. And it doesn't appear you get much in the way of reliability either. Oh, I don't believe this. The motor's overheating and I've got reduced power. While it cooled down, we went to get the silver car out again. Only to find that while it was being charged, its brakes had broken. So then, with the light fading, we had no cars at all. The first electric car that you might actually want to buy. It's just a shame that in the real world, it doesn't seem to work. No, I think the price will come down. You know, once, what's he called, Brad Cruz and Leonardo de Clooney, once they bought six, <laughs> 600 each, then the price will drop. And I guess once they've made a few of them, they'll get better at the reliability. Well, that's as maybe, but, and as I aim to demonstrate later on in the show, battery powered electric cars will soon die altogether. No, we are looking forward to that film. Well, I am anyway. And you wouldn't think it was. We were hoping it wouldn't be that bad, but then when we did the Tesla IPO Roadshow, we just got one investor after another asking us why our car broke down in Top Gear. Particularly in Europe, every investor we met with in Europe asked us why our car broke down. And I was like, well, this is ridiculous. So, um, and then to add salt to the wound, uh, Top Gear just kept repeating that episode.